Thank you so much for your interest in our trailer. We have a Trail Bay uh, 32 bunkhouse slide model. Let's take a look inside. This is a perfect trailer for a family. It sleeps 10. And first you'll see over here is a queen size bedroom. And then we have a slide out with a couch, a dinette set, and the kitchen is over this way. We also have a bathroom and the quad bunk house in the back here. And this, uh, this sleeps 10 with four bunk beds here and four beds uh, and the dinette and the bunk bed when they, uh, the couch when they come down and with the queen size. Now here we have, we'll walk back through the trailer and show you some of the more specific uh, model features. One is that this actually is like a dresser for your family. We have five slide out drawers and a little bit of space underneath the drawers for all the um, clothing and accessories that your children may have. There's a couple uh, drawer, uh, shelves here for their items, and we have a TV shelf here with a TV hookup for cable or whatever. And um, each bed, each child has their own reading light, and there's a privacy curtain for this part of the trailer. Now back here, we also have, one of the features of this model is that we have a cargo door. And so you can store things through here as the bunk beds actually fold up. When you travel, you can put both of the bunk beds up or just one of them up or none of them up, if, depending on what your needs are. And it secures that way. This can come out and stores, it can store underneath here if you would like, or it can store on one of the beds if you like, wherever you would like. And you can have just the one up or you can quickly put up the other bottle, the other bunk as well. And they simply and easily secure. This again comes out and you can put that wherever you want. There's a large storage area under the bed. And now that opens a large cargo area with access from the outside to the large cargo door. So you can put bikes, grills, chairs, whatever your family may need for storage when you travel and for easy setup once you get to the campsite. There's a good size wardrobe closet here for hang up clothes, coats, whatever. Uh, we have also included a few drawers uh, here. You can have this or not have it. Um, helps with a little bit of extra storage. There's a full size bathroom in here and you can see there's storage under the sink. There's a lot of counter space. There's a uh, vent fan there, and there's a skylight over the shower, which would allow a six foot tall uh, person to be able to easily take, use the shower in the bathroom. And there's a good sized tub in here as well. And on the back of the door is the towel rack. The hot water heater through here has electric, or gas start and it has an auto reignite so if it doesn't start immediately on the first try it will continue to try until that starts then we come over here to the kitchen the kitchen area we have three drawers utility drawers and under the sinks is a, a small area here and then a drawer back under there or not a drawer, a shelf back under there to store a lot of goods. These are cutting boards that can be taken off. And then the sinks. This is a spice rack here. There's a built-in spice rack. And then these sinks here are good sized sinks to work with when you are um, taking care of a large family. And also we have a stove top with three burners with a cover. And that cover provides extra counter space when you need it and you're not um, in the process of actually using the stove. 
and then the oven. There's a hood over the oven with a fan and light. And there's a microwave with the turntable. The uh, cabinets all have the raised maple door fronts as well as the refrigerator. And this refrigerator is a larger refrigerator than most um, trailers. We had this trailer custom made for us and one of the things we asked for because of the size of our family was to have the extra size in the trailer and this trailer can store a week's worth of food for a family of seven. We did it many times. This refrigerator can store that. There is a pantry or wardrobe closet, however you want to use it, with um, three good size uh, shelves in there. They, there is a shelf over here for the DVD or DVD player or whatever, and this also has TV hookup up there. There's an antenna, TV antenna with a power boost on it. And there over here is a is a stereo CD player with uh, four speakers throughout the trailer. And when you hook that up to your TV, you'll have surround sound. Um, as we go back through this way, let's let's take a look. We have a, a duotherm furnace, and we have a Dometic AC, and this is the control on that. Um, the, here's the table. Underneath the tables is lots of storage that passes through to the exterior of the trailer on both sides and they have access from either the lower door, uh, cabinet doors on the inside or the exterior or very simply the cushions can be removed. and. The door pops open and you have access to your storage. So from three different ways you can access the storage space on both sides and it's identical on both sides. This uh, table can come down uh, very easily and be turned into a bed and that bed uh, sleeps two children or one adult however you are you are having your guest in your trailer close these and the couch has full storage underneath the couch um, and it is accessible from inside the trailer or the exterior of the trailer. The couch very quickly and easily just folds down into a bed. Once again that sleeps two children or one adult however your guest situation is and very quickly and easily goes back into a couch. Um, over here, the two bedrooms. Now this, this queen size bedroom can be separated off from the rest of the trailer by simply closing the privacy curtain. And then opening it in the morning. Putting it back and you're ready to go. The... Becomes part of the living space. Yeah, and it becomes part of the living space at that point in time then, which you can see is rather large. For a family of seven, we really not, were not crowded in this trailer, even when we were gone for a long periods of time. And this is a queen size bed. And one thing that this trailer does not lack at all is storage space, even for a large family. Not only is there all the storage space we've already shown you, but underneath the bed, all the way to the floor, that storage space goes all the way to the floor, is a large place to put uh, any other large items you may have. And there's also exterior storage space that we'll show you in a moment. Um, one of the things we have here is also each person has their own reading light. We have a shelf here. There's storage for your clothes up here, wardrobe area. Each side has their own wardrobe hanger, closet, and drawer. And so it's the same then on this side, on drawer and wardrobe closet area. Underneath each one of these beds, this bed, underneath on each side, are electrical outlets. So there is access to electricity next to the beds. 
And one of the features we also had when we had this custom made was to have a um, ceiling fan vent area put in here. And this will operate just off the battery if you would like. So when you're traveling down the road, if you pull over to eat or to sleep or whatever, and you want to run air through the trailer, you just open a back window, turn this on, and it will pull air in as any fan would, and you'd have a fan blowing throughout the trailer. And it's covered by a rain vent, so rain will not come in whether you leave that open all the time or not. One of the um, other features over here is in this bedroom. There is a sh uh, extra shelf that also has a TV hookup, so you can put a TV here. When you don't want the shelf up, it's easy to just set it down. Um, one of the things that the trailer has throughout on every window, we have uh, many of them up to show you the trailer, but the trailer has these uh, blinds throughout the entire trailer. Uh, one of the things that I uh, did forgot to show you was some cabinet space for your dishes above the kitchen sink area. So there's plenty of space to put your dishes, your food, your supplies, whatever it is you may need. And um, the slide out is a power slide out. And we just hit this button here. And that brings the slide out in. And it will come in to allow you to still walk through the trailer up to the bathroom area. So we're gonna put it back out now. Okay, and can you think of anything else? Okay, so let's take a look outside. The first thing we're going to notice when we come outside is the awning. That is a brand new awning, the 20 foot awning, and that it was just installed a few months ago in 2013. We have storage, the exterior storage. The exterior storage of the trailer. Um, it has passed through. There's a, a drawer on the other side that will show you that passes through on either side. And so you can access it from either side. There are large working lights. So when you're at a campsite, you can turn those on and get the working lights uh, where you can work. This is the uh, out of everything on the trailer, this is the only cosmetic thing that we have that uh, has broken, and that is um, the molding on here, and it's just purely a cosmetic feature. There, the trailers, the wheels, and the brakes, the bearing, brake bearings, and all brake parts were replaced on all four tires uh, just last year in 2012. Replaced the whole brake assembly. The whole brake assemblies were replaced in um, just last year. So let's go take a look here at having power kit. We have an electric power hitch with a light and two 30 pound um, propane tanks under here that are included. Now you can see the pass through drawer we were talking about. This passes through all the way through the trailer and you can see there's a lot of space for uh, tools that you may need in setting up your campsites and what you might need to have with you. Uh, the trailer has four scissor. I'll show that how that closes passes through on the other side. And then just simply close it that way. There are four scissor jacks to give extra support when setting up the campsite. That was an extra feature we had added on. The trailer came with the uh, cheaper jacks and we had those added on. You can see from the outside of the slide out here, the drawers that provide us access to the areas um, for storage areas. And these quickly close and lock up when we're traveling. We have an auxiliary outdoor shower here with hot and cold water faucets. 
and a, a shower head, uh, a hose and a shower head. The electrical outlet is here, access is there. Um, the spare tire and hood is here. This is where you find your cable, TV access and hookup. So when you're at a campsite, everything's on this side here. You hook up your TV and cable here, your power, your water over there, and you're good to go. We've also added on a bike rack. And you can see we have access to the roof through this ladder. And the roof was a new rubber coating put on this year, just a few months ago, and all the seals were checked and touched up when where necessary. The uh, hose for the sewer can be hooked up, uh, stored right in here when you travel so it doesn't have to get the rest of your, any other storage area messy and dirty. Just, just pops off, slides in there, and it, it goes through either side. This is a portable gray tank disposal that uh, would be an accessory if you're interested in that as well. And you can see the cargo door here. And you can then see how that how much room there is from this side. All the things that you can store in there when you travel. We also have a um, trailer cover that fits this trailer is what the picture of it looks like and there it is and that's also a, a, an additional feature if you are interested in that as well i believe that covers everything and i appreciate your interest if you are interested in knowing more or scheduling a showing please give us a call at 678-294-6818 thank you